All right, welcome back everybody. GPT Adventure Channel's got another product review for you today. This is the High Sierra Titan 55 liter hiking pack. So it's a backpack. It's a little bit larger than a standard backpack. It is 55 liter and this thing is just loaded with features and it does have a lot of extra room on it for you to customize it which explains the Iceland flag uh, that's a patch that I put on it. But anyways, I'm going to go over some of the features and let you guys see this thing because this is by far my favorite pack I've bought and at a reasonable price off Amazon. It is it is definitely worth the money. I've taken it international from the USA, a couple different places. I'll include some photos of uh, how it looks on my back fully packed up and uh, that way you can see it. But first and foremost, I'm going to cover some of the, uh, the features on it. So uh, first thing on the bottom here, you have a couple of these little rings here. Really nice for you to clip different types of gear on. So there's two on one side, one big one on the other. It does have a bed roll right here. Bed roll strap, so you can see it right there. So one on each side. All right. It does have a couple of these little Velcro tabs right here, as long as some loops for you to clip on various things like water bottles, or these are great for fly fishing rods for me personally. It has a handle on each side, so you can see it right there. Uh, the front pocket is pretty roomy. I would say it's about 10 to 12 inches long. It's only about 7 to 8 inches wide with about an inch of depth. This right here is just a mesh portion in here for you to slide something else in. You can see my hand right through there. So that's really nice. Um, it does have a pocket on the bottom here where you can access the bottom compartment. Okay, so it does have a zip up on the inside. So that is one compartment all by itself. Um, Following that, we have a pocket on each side, great for water bottles or any other miscellaneous small things you want to carry on the external there. One on each side. All right. This does have a strap that goes around your waist. So it does have a little travel pack right here. You can see one on each side, which is nice. Big, nice, thick, comfortable padding right here on each side of the, uh, the waist strap. Adjustable straps, always nice for anybody's size. Uh, one of the best features about this pack is the fact that the back right here you can see it says ergo ergonomic uh, adjustable backing so um, what that allows you to do is this is a velcro feature velcros up and you can actually slide the back shoulder straps into different locations along the back so if you have more of your weight centered at the bottom of your pack which you should you can actually lower this down a little bit to place that weight a little further up than just sitting on your lower back. So that's a really nice feature. It does have the airflow cool back technology. So this is actually a breathable material and it does have the internal frame behind it. So you know it's going to stay nice and rigid as you're out hiking. So um, another couple different features here. This is adjustable. The straps on the side are adjustable for it to pull up a little further on your shoulder straps does have this little cell phone pocket here. I don't know any cell phones that are that size anymore, but still a nice feature for you to slide different miscellaneous small things into and have them right there at your grasp. Um, cool feature as well. This is just a little strap across the front right here. And uh, what that allows it to do is just keep the shoulder straps from sliding off your shoulders. So you can link it and this does slide up and down. So you can adjust it wherever it's more comfortable for you. So, great feature there. Love the back. Super comfortable. Nice thick padding on each side here as well as your lower back. So, uh, flipping it around now. It's got a lot of different pockets. Uh, but first and foremost, H2O is listed right here. One on each side. And that's for like your internal um, water bladder, if you will, or hydration system that you may be using. You can actually have it come straight out of that H2O pockets slot right there. So, that does access the inside. So be careful when it starts raining there. It does come with a uh, a rain poncho, if you will, for the backpack. So nice, nice features. All right. Following along, I'm going to flip it around here. The top portion here does have a pocket right up here at the top, so you can access inside of this. And then it has just survival essentials. You can see right here, I'm trying to straighten it out a little bit. So it does give you some just basic general, in, you know, Stuff that you should have. Make sure you bring sun protection, multi-tool, fire, so on and so forth. So make sure you have those things that I always want you to, to remind you of that. It does have a small pocket on the inside, which you can put in maybe a cell phone or something like that. Keep it nice and dry. Coming along on the inside of this thing, it is huge. I mean, it really opens up. You can see here, it really opens up to a nice size. It's 55 liters, so it's, it's great big. 
inside I know it's hard to see in there but it does have one pocket more likely for like a fuel for like a, uh, a bladder for your um, hydration pack to go in there you can access the internal frame if you'd like right in here don't mess with that too much me personally I just like to leave that be it's got an additional hook two of them one for the hydration bladder one for just miscellaneous other things you like to keep on a leash and then you also have this little safety strap here for the bladder so it doesn't slide off. Alright, carrying on. The inside is pretty uh, pretty well open on the inside. There's no small pockets on the internal portion here. But it does have the drawstring up top for an internal draw. So you can draw it up like this. Tuck that down inside and then it has another drawstring to help keep it even more watertight. As you can see right here. So, internal drawstring, external drawstring. That way it helps catch any water that may slip inside there. Um, and then it has this little strap right here to go across the top. So, um, very, very nice backpack for the money. Nice and easy to use. It holds tons and tons and tons of storage. I highly recommend it for anybody who's looking at these packs. High Sierra makes a really, really good uh, backpack as well as other products. And I definitely recommend that you go pick you up one today. Again, this is the Titan. 55 liter hiking backpack and uh, it's definitely worth the money. I can't say more good things about it. You guys just need to go pick it up for yourself and try it out. Alright, thanks for watching guys.